Hello, my name is Lisa Shea, and this is the third part of the instructions for taking a Word document, making it into a filtered HTM file, and then making it to an EPUB file, which is used by most ebook systems, and then making it into a Mobi file, which is used by the Amazon Kindle system. And this is freshly done for 2019. So what we've done so far is that we've used Word to make the filtered HTM file, and then we've used this Calibre software here to turn that initial format into an EPUB format. Now, most systems will let you just import that EPUB format without any problems at all, but some systems will choke and say that it needs a little formatting cleanup. So that is where the Sigil software comes in. So Sigil is S-I-G-I-L, and if you Google Sigil, you'll find this page. It's at sigil-ebook.com, and this is where you download the software from. The software is completely free, and it should install very easily. So let's take a look at the Sigil software. This is what the Sigil software looks like. I know it looks pretty scary, but you don't have to know how to use any of this kind of stuff. Let's open up the Aspen file that we just made for the Aspen allegations. All right, so what you've got down the right-hand side are the list of the different chapters in your book, and the left-hand side are the links to the files, one for each chapter. You don't have to worry about any of that. We're just going to do four different things and it'll take care of pretty much any type of error that your systems will generate for you. The first thing is on this very first page, it's gonna say preserve aspect ratio equals none. All we're gonna do is delete that. So that's a common problem that will choke on. So just delete that out and that is fine. The second thing that we're going to do is we're going to look for the phrase clear equal sign quote ALL quote, and we're gonna replace it with nothing at all. And over on the right hand side, we're going to click on replace all it's going to say it made 10 replacements. So it has now removed any references to clear equals quote all quote. Next thing we're going to look for is for border equals quote zero quote. So we're going to look for all instances of border equals quote zero quote, replace it with nothing at all. And we're going to go over to the right and click on replace all. It's now replaced 39 of those. So that took care of all the border equals zero issues. The next thing we're going to look for is ID equals quote picture space. So there's no end quote. And we're going to replace that with ID equals quote picture with no space. So the top one has picture space and the second one has picture no space. So we're getting rid of that space after the word picture. We're going to hit replace all. That took care of 37 of them. And that is pretty much all of the errors that you tend to find in EHUB files with one exception. And this one last exception can be different from system to system, so I'll show you how to find it. First, we're going to go up to the top left and hit the Save button. It's the thing with the arrow pointing down into it. So we'll hit Save just to have our current stuff saved. Now over on the far right in the top bar is a checkbox. That's your Validate button. So we're going to click this checkbox to validate our EPUB. It's come up with errors, and these are the ones that are going to be different from system to system. So we're going to click on this top one. And what we're looking for is the section where it says link equals something and then vlink equals something. Depending on your system, that could be link equals numbers or link equals black or so on. Whatever it says, we need to get rid of that. So we're going to copy that section and put it into the find area. And then we're going to replace it with nothing at all. So we're looking for the link equals black, V link equals the numbers, and we're replacing it with nothing at all. And on the right, we're going to click on replace all. It found it 45 times, and those are all now gone. So now if we click on save in the top menu bar, and now if we click on the green checkbox on the right-hand side of the top menu bar, it says the EPUB file is fine. So we have done all the cleansing we need to of this EPUB file to make it perfect for pretty much any system out there that uses an EPUB file. So those are the steps you need to take when you make an EPUB file to get them to be clean so that you can then use it to import into pretty much any system. You can visit lisashea.com or find me on pretty much any social network to ask me questions about this. And I hope you have great luck in your publishing.